Good morning all. Uh, my phone has been blasting off the hook uh, regarding interest rates and whatnot. So I figured I'd send a video kind of explain things from, from my perspective. So I think the first thing that needs to be clarified is that variable rates and fixed rates are two different beasts. Okay, They're not, yes there are intertwined in many aspects, but they're controlled by different by different things, essentially. So, on the variable side, that's primarily controlled by the Bank of Canada and the overnight, which controls the overnight rate. Overnight rate is kind of the uh, the cost of borrowing that major banks charge each other to borrow money on the short term. So, Bank of Canada's primary ob- objective is to control inflation which is the upward uh, motion of prices. And they do so by controlling the supply of cash. So, recently there was an increase, or or for the last five years, variables have been low. Because what the Bank of Canada is indicating is that in addition to inflation aspects, Lower costs of borrowing is more of an incentive or entices consumers to borrow, to spend, for companies to borrow, to invest, which stimulates the economy. That's the primary objective. When we saw recently with the Bank of Canada increase is that they do so to, when it rates go up, they do so to disincentivize, if that's even a word, or to deter people from borrowing as much because when consumers borrow and spend and companies borrow and invest to consume goods and services it puts upward pressure on prices so when you see rates going up from the Bank of Canada it's really because they are wanting to slow inflation and the same thing when they decrease it's to curb deflation or the reduction in prices. Fixed rates are another beast altogether. Okay, so fixed rates are generally tied to the bond market. And it's important to recognize that banks are a business, right? They're in this this game to make money. Like most businesses, you have products or services that cost money. And then the concept is you resell those goods and services for profit. So the primary factor for banks or lenders to control fixed rates is what it costs them to acquire that money to begin with. That's called a funding cost. Okay, so banks get their money from people like you and me. Every time you open a bank account, for example, you put money into a bank, goes into a savings account, you are, in theory, lending the bank money. And they can turn around and do whatever they want with it to to fund their investments or directions or whatever. So, if the cost of borrowing increases, that is going to naturally push the cost of rates that they charge consumers. So, how it's tied to the bond market is that's just so that's just a, suppose you're a big institutionalized investor, okay? So you're looking for money to put. You're looking for, for a place to put your money to grow. You can say, okay, I can put it in this government bond, corporate bond, or I can invest in this bank in the mortgage market. If investing in corporate bonds, which is low risk or government bonds, is is just as good as the rate being offered by the banks in the mortgage market, there's no incentive to invest in mortgages. Therefore, banks need to offer investors higher returns just to be able to acquire that capital. And that increase in cost goes back to the borrowers. Also, in a strong economy, you know, people are wanting to borrow and spend because there's there's growth. So This increases demand for cash, which also increases rates to consumers. So when you're looking at 
all these factors associated with making decisions on variable or fixed or or what's going on you got to look at the under underlying i guess position of the economy if first and foremost are rates increasing because inflation is out of hand are rates increasing because the economy is strong um and then there's also a, a, a personal factor, right? So, you know, I get a lot of clients that they'll have a heart attack if rates go up one time. I mean, then you got to look at your your personal scenario. Is it is your peace of mind worth paying a little bit more? And that's a personal question. So, you know, some people should just lock in fixed, even though it's a it's a higher rate right now, just because. <laughs> The fluctuation will give them too much anxiety and, and then life becomes not enjoyable. Another point I'll make right now is that there's such a wide gap between variable and fixed. It's tough for me. Primarily, most of my mortgages are variable just because there's such a massive gap between the variable and fixed right now. And it's hard for me to swallow, you know, twice, paying twice as much interest. Yes, variable are going to go up. They are, they, it will go up a few more times probably just because inflation needs to be cooled down. Um, but how much will it go up? And in the interim, I'm just saving that money. Every single month I pay a mortgage is I'm saving an interest cost. So let's just say variable gets to the point of fixed right now after three years, four years. That means that the last three, four years, I've just saved money. So it's very, very difficult for me as an investor. I'm very risk averse to go fisk, fix, but having said that, like I, my previous point, if you're someone that just can't handle risk, it's gonna stress you out and ruin your life, then go fixed. So that's my spiel. If you have any direct questions, uh, give me a shout. It is a bit of a complicated factor because there's, there's so many different things that are conflicting that could be pushing rates up or down. You know, rates could go up on the fixed market, rates go up in a strong economy. But then if you look at variable rates that are going up, that's generally to cool the economy and cool inflation. So we saw yesterday rates on the fixed going up, but rates on the variable and the target overnight rate did not go up. So it's very, very important to recognize that variable and fixed are two different beasts. And when one increases or decreases, there's different factors behind the scenes. So... Talk to you soon, guys.